Okay, so before we get started, I need you to know that I am not the best at makeup. My only experience is doing theater company in high school and that didn't really go so good. And also just me trying stuff in my washroom, which is what we're doing today. So depending on the outcome, depending on whether or not I like the outcome, this video is either going to be titled, I try, here's how to do a makeup tutorial, or it's going to be like, I try following a makeup tutorial and I fail miserably. Or if it's so bad, you might not even see this video and I'm just going to be talking to myself in the void. So hopefully it's one of the first two, but <laughs> today we're going to be following a Chinese TikTok makeup tutorial or otherwise known as a doyin makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be following this makeup tutorial for today, but I'm not gonna be using colored contacts, mascara, or fake lashes or anything like that, because I don't know how to use them. And frankly, my monolidded eyes can't take that much abuse today. So let's just get started. I'm gonna start by prepping my face. Um, I know you can use primer. You can use a primer. I don't use primers because I don't have it. Um, so I'm just gonna use a Beano moisturizer. Oh, that looks suspicious. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put this on my face. Uh, honestly, you don't really. I think foundation is really unnecessary for most makeup things. It's just for like if you wanna like go full fancy. Cause honestly, I think you know what's better than having expensive foundation. Expensive skincare, okay? That's basically the foundation. You like, if you have clear skin, you don't even need foundation. But yeah, I'm just rubbing moisturizer on my face so the makeup does, so the foundation doesn't suck my skin dry and it looks like there's still life to it. Next, we're going in with, next, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Uh, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Foundation. It's pretty good. The one thing I don't like it is is that it doesn't have a pump, so I have to pour it out on my hand like like everybody else does. So unfortunate. I don't even know if the skin tone matches me anymore because this is supposed to be my skin tone in the winter pre-pandemic when I didn't go outside very much, and now it is in the summer after after the pandemic. So I, I, and I do go outside now. <laughs> but we're just gonna go for it. Why did I give you so much foundation and like? Look, when am I ever going to use this in my everyday life? Oh. I did not expect. I look like I'm about to commit a hate crime. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. This is, this is racist. This is actually offensive. Okay, so this is how it looks now. I know it still looks not like my skin and I look like... I didn't rub in my sunscreen properly, but this is the best I'm gonna do. This is the best it's gonna get, and I think I'm just gonna put like bronzer, a lot of bronzer after so it doesn't like, I don't know. So it like actually looks like what I, so I don't look like I'm about to kill someone. Uh, next we're gonna put in concealer. This is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. This one is pretty popular off the internet. Uh, I think it works pretty good. It also has a built-in applicator, which makes it really nice. But the thing is, this is even lighter than the foundation, so let's see how this goes. I didn't use the smell of chocolate. That means, like, it's not that the smell is bad, it's just that it didn't used to have a smell, so... Okay. I know I look a little deranged right now, but this is about trusting the process, okay? You have to trust me. It's probably gonna work out. And if it doesn't, you won't be able to see this video. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm waiting for this to like marinate a little on my skin. So like the sweat incorporates into the skin and fuses with the concealer. So it looks like, like my skin and not cake. And while we wait for that, I guess I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna do my brows. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the ELF Ultra... ELF Ultra Precise Pencil Brow thing. And this is what I'm gonna use to do my brows. If I can get it open, and I can't. So we start by combing them out. I'm still not good at doing my brows. I don't know why I'm like... 
telling you, I don't know why I'm giving you like a little step-by-step -step going on, because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing either, you know? This is like imposter syndrome, but I'm actually an imposter and I am, actually am underqualified for this position, you know? What I like to do is, I think, give it just like the slightest arch, or I usually have like straight brows, so it's like straight at like a slight angle. So what I usually do is I just like, lengthen it out a little bit to here and I also lengthen up this side and I just fill in the middle and I don't really I don't really touch the front I just add sometimes I'm feeling fancy I add a little few strands in there or I just like I just draw in a few little hairs in the front so they're not naked I'm always so afraid of doing my eyebrows too dark because I don't want to look like I don't want to have like brick eyebrows, but then my fear often just like leads me to making them really light and it's like I didn't even do my eyebrows, so that's just like a metaphor for life, isn't it? Oh, wow, that's straight. Oh god. Okay, I guess we're going with this. I'll do the other eyebrow too. Oh god, I look so pale. <laughs> okay, so to put more color back into my face, I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this Perfect Bronze by Annabelle, I think. Uh, I don't even know if the, I don't even know if the tutorial I'm referencing uses this, but I really need it because my foundation is way too light for me. So I'm just going to put this on my forehead and like, honestly, probably everywhere that because my, my skin is looking like freaking James Charles. It's looking like that spider from Miss Sunny's sun patch. I'm gonna put this like literally everywhere. But yeah, just like usually you're supposed to put it on your forehead. I guess you could do like your jawline. But I don't have any more because I gained all my weight from stress eating during university. I can't tell if it's going good, but we're gonna move on to doing contour and hopefully, hopefully that'll be the last step in making my skin look like my skin color because oh my god why did i tan that's why you should wear sunscreen all the time and you should wear a hat because the best sunscreen is a hat okay so now i'm gonna do contour with this contour stick this is the nyx professional this is from nyx it's the wonder stick and it has a contour and highlighter for contour Contouring in my nose is like the scariest thing for me because I can never tell if it looks remotely decent. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of contour up here and then a little bit of contour down here because I hear if you do it all the way, that's not that good. Okay, so I just put a little contour here and here. Um, I don't really know if this is like the right way, but that's what the internet says. I am a sheep. A little bit on my jawline because First year of college hit hard. Okay, now we're gonna blend all this out. Does my jawline look chiseled? I think it looks too dark, I think. Now I'm going into the opposite direction of race changing. <laughs> okay, now the fun part. Now I get to go in with blush and highlighter and make my face look more colorful. Let me make my face look more happy and life, life having. So I'm gonna go in for highlight and blush using this e.l.f. This e.l.f. like two, two thingy, two set thing. It has a blush and a highlight. You can see how much I love this product because I already hit the pan. So now it's blush time. I'm going to try and scrape off the remaining of this and put it on like around here. I used to put it up here, but I kind of want to look more wholesome and sweet today and apparently that putting it here helps and also because I have a longer midsection it also shortens it a little so that my face is more balanced. I love Elf so much. The products are really affordable and and like good quality too like this was this was about like two dollars or something two Canadian dollars that's like not even, not even two American cents or something. I don't know how bad our economy is right now. I like putting a lot of blush on my face because 
I need it to look like I am constantly embarrassed. I just peed my pants and everybody saw. I'll put some on the middle of my no nose too, just for, just for more embarrassment. Like the pee is going everywhere. Oh my, what am I talking? What am I saying? What's wrong with, you know, I'm gonna put some up here, like in the eyelid, just so like my eyelids also have this is because my eyelids, this is like my eyelids can also be embarrassed that I pee my pants. What? What am I, what am I going for here? <laughs> what is this metaphor? And next I'm just gonna go with this highlighter from the highlighter side. I don't really like using the brush for the highlighter because I feel like it doesn't really come off if you use the brush. So I just use my fingers and I just rub it on the cheek, my cheeks and I'm gonna do some on my nose and the inner corners of my eyes. I think if you put it above, this shortens your mid, mid part too, and it's all about creating those ideal ratios. Okay, I think our base is done. Now we actually get to follow the proper tutorial. And this is where everything's gonna go wrong. Like I said, I'm not gonna be using any fake eyelashes or contacts or mascara, because if I curl my eyelashes, they're still down, okay? They can't, they, no matter how hard I curl them, they can't go up. And when they do go up, they're like this. Like they, they are soft, they are flaccid forever. And also when I put false eyelashes on, it just, cause my eye, I don't know how to curl my eyelashes. It looks like my normal eyelashes are going this way and my eyelashes are going up and I have two sets of eyelashes. So we're not going into that. And before the tutorial she puts, down a nude eyeshadow as a base for the rest of her eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go use this CoverGirl True Naked Desert Heat eyeshadow palette. This one is, this one has all the colors that I needed, so it's very good. I'm gonna go in with this one. This one as, oh no, I guess it's a base, so the rest of your eyeshadow sticks. The thing is with having mono lids is that like, if you open your eye, the eyeshadow is just like gone. And we're also putting it on the bottom. And do the other eye at the same time. I don't get how people do one eye completely and then go in with the other eye. Like that, that is so scary for me. So how do you, that's, that's how like you get asymmetrical eyes. It's so hard to tell whether or not I'm doing anything correct. I think this is a reflection of how I feel about everything else in my life. <laughs> now that we have our little eyeshadow base set, I don't know. Okay, uh, I think then we go into a darker shade and just deepen the little, deepen the little this area so that it has more dimension and it looks 3D because right now I look like a 2D girl and I need to look uh, like I have the third dimension. I'm going in with this one and I'm just putting it in the little like, I don't know what I call it, like the little sunken hole right here. Now we have to draw in our eyeliner line, but with dark eyeshadow instead of the actual eyeliner line. And we also put it underneath our eyeballs right here to make our eyes pop. So I'm going to go in with this very sharp brush. I'm gonna use this one. Like my, for like my, like going monolids, like I don't go all the way. I just do like a little triangle here. Cause if honestly, if you go all the way, it doesn't even matter. Cause you can't see anything. And you also have, then after you go follow down this line. And, and then we go on to something else. See if I just go straight out and then like I follow this line and I go up and then that makes a triangle because math. Okay, this is about as good as it's gonna get. I keep saying that. And then you go, I'm gonna go in and fill in my bottom line. I think it's your water line. I think that's what it's called. Wait, I'm gonna check. Okay, I was about to put it on my water line and I don't think I'm supposed to. I think you're just gonna like write Right, like, uh, under your under your waterline. All right, I'm putting it in the middle. I'm not gonna go all the way in the corner. That's my plan. 
This is what it looks like. I think I think this side is darker than this side, uh, but am I gonna try and fix it? Yes. You know what? I forgot to put red on my eye. I don't know if I can still fix that. I'm back and I realize I have not really followed the instructions once again. What's new? Ha 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 ha. Okay, so the next step she does is draw in her little eye, eye bags and I'm not gonna do that. Okay, instead of defining my eye bags, I'm just gonna put some highlighter on my little, like the rest of my eye line here. And then also in my inner corner. For a little bit. Oh god. Oh, that's, that's, that's really pigmented. Okay. That kind of just looks like I have eye poop in my eye. So now I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna put in glitter on my eyes because I forgot to do that step. I just skipped over everything. Um, that's not good. I think I'm gonna go in a mixture of the white, this white one and then this gold one, and maybe the salmon one, the salmon colored one. Uh, I really don't know. I'll try this one first and see if it works, but I'm just gonna be putting this on the middle of my eye here, and maybe like for my little eye bags, because I guess little eye bags if you you gotta give them like a little bit of attention too. Okay, I'm just putting it on the middle of my eyeball. So I'm gonna go on the white one. This one is super, how do you call it? like the powder, it just comes off like onto your eye immediately. It's really, really soft, so you gotta be careful. I think this one's actually meant to be like highlighter, but a uh, highlighter eyeshadow is the same thing. You see how it just like does it, it, it's there and it's not there. Like, wow. Society. I think I'm mixing it with the gold. Red. Okay, I'm gonna go in a little bit more of the red glitter. Just dab it in on the middle of my eye. I'm gonna try and put yellow in the corner so blend the light blends into the yellow a little bit easier. Okay, so um, I don't know how I decided on using all the glitters on my eyelid, but we're also gonna put this salmony one on it too. Okay, this is what it looks like. There's one more step that's not gonna change anything. I'm gonna go in with a pencil eyeliner and just draw on my actual wing now and also do my inner corner hopefully it doesn't break hopefully it doesn't smudge everywhere uh i could you could go in with liquid liner i don't know if i'm supposed to go in with liquid liner i'm scared to okay so i'm using this pencil liner it's pretty good i like it it's from wet and wild this one costs like no money and i think it's vegan and I think it's cruelly free, so stand the animals. Okay, so the tutorial girl says you put in the pencil liner in your inner corner and then you go out, you go with your wing with the liquid liner. Um, we'll see, we'll see if that actually happens here. Okay, so I'm gonna use my pencil liner for my little inner corner. I guess. Okay, so inner corners are done. Now I have to go in with, I have to go in with liquid liner, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Okay, so this is my liquid liner. It's the Rimmel London eyeliner. Honestly, I don't really like it because the tip is very stubby and like, it's like a bullet tip. And I don't think I can get like that precise with it. Also, there's not a lot in it. And it has a lot of like, it's a little hairy, like This is a very thick tip and I'm scared that I'm not gonna get this right <sighs> So far so good You know what the problem is? My eye goes steeper this way And my eye goes steep like this this way So when I'm drawing, when I'm following my eye line It naturally results in unsymmetrical eyeballs I'm gonna go back in with the brown eyeshadow Cause I don't think the eyeliner is eyelinering right now. I think this is the finished eye look. She goes in with fake eyelashes and mascara. I don't have that. 
To finish off this makeup look, it's the lips. It's time for the lips. Um, I actually said like you can do any kind of lip for this because honestly, I think it matches pretty well with anything. I have, I have a plumping lip serum. This one, oh, it's a plumping lip balm by Hard Candy. And then this is a sample from Sephora. This is a NARS. It's a lipstick that's a little bit orange. I also have this Chinese one that my mom's friend gave to me that matches the lip tone, the lips, your lip to the pH level. Um, I think that's a scam. And then I also have the Dior Lip Glow Oil. This one I got for my friend for my birthday and it's such a good lip gloss, it's so pretty. And I think I'm gonna try and use all of them. I don't really know how well it's gonna work, but whatever. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with the color changing lipstick. When I first got this thing, I was so excited to use it and I opened it, the entire lipstick just fell into the sink. Once we apply all of the lipsticks, it'll probably work out. Uh, it'll, it'll look good, so. Lastly, I have this one. This is what it looks like. I think this is more of a gloss. Like, this is too orange for the rest of the look. To finish it off, I'm gonna put on some of the lip oil just to make my lips a little glossy. This is very soft and very sticky, which I like. And also, it tastes like peppermint. But yeah, I guess, I guess this is a little look. Yeah! I feel so pretty. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is, the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know. Let me know if you didn't enjoy it. I love criticism. I need to get better at not crying immediately when criticism is given to me. Um, that's something I'm working on in therapy. But yeah, hope you liked this video. And if you didn't, thank you for being here anyway. And I'll see you in the future. Bye! Okay, see you in the next video. I need to get my makeup. I think I'm like actually balding. <laughs> I'm so scared. I don't want to lose my hair. Dude, I can't. I can't. I don't even have that much of it anymore. Ah! You should like and subscribe <laughs> to get the best beauty tips and just be as sexy as Annie. Cause like, <laughs> That was the end goal, you know? <laughs> Being as sexy as Annie. Like, this is like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> this is <laughs> Like, right here. Like, Anne Hathaway right here. Emma Watson right here. Like, Margot Robbie, but like, Annie right <laughs> here. So you want, yeah, you want that amount of sexiness in your life? You gotta follow, like, Annie's, like, daily routine. Just like that. Okay? Like and subscribe for bitches. <laughs>